Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for April. This month is kind of bittersweet. In fact, it starts really quite sweet for you in a dramatic astral climate, which seems a stellium of planets, three planets, the Sun, Mars and Venus all gathered together. In fact, the Mars and Sun conjunction is going to go on for the whole of this month. But initially, it's in a very sociable area for you, along with Venus. It's just that Mercury is still in a part of your horoscope that's very much to do with your career. Now that's going to move mid-month and it's going to move into an area which can see you being much more engaged by other people. But it also goes side by side with Uranus at the heart of this month, suggesting a lot of restlessness, some switchbacks, some U-turns. You may even find yourself going in a new direction that only a while ago you had completely dismissed. But Venus does move into a more reflective area on the 15th, although it does forge a very nice link with Neptune in the few days following. This link suggests it's not necessarily more obvious gestures and events that are so important. Some of the things that go on behind the scenes, some subtle undertones can actually be very reassuring. However, it is true to say that by the 20th, the Sun and also Mars have moved into part of your horoscope that is much more to do with taking a step back and thinking about what our lives really mean. But Mars in the 12th house is not an easy location. It's going to be here for, for six long weeks. And in this time, you may find that your moods are quite turbulent. And particularly towards the end of this month, despite all the sociability, the interaction, the friendship, the invites that go on in the early part of the month, particularly on the back of a wonderful new moon on the 10th, you're going to find that as Venus goes opposite Saturn from the 19th and then is joined from the 20th by the Sun and Mars in your 12th solar house, and they too from the 25th and the lunar eclipse go into opposition with Saturn, you may find yourself really encountering quite a lot of heavy weather. And some of this could be psychological. In the Western world, there is a tendency to think the body is the tool of the mind. In the Eastern world, it's much more holistic. And it's very important that you don't see your emotions as being something outside of you. That is a bit of a Gemini trait. Try to own things. For example, if there have been past upsets, and things that have occurred in your life that have been buried away, they may come up now in quite a, a, a big manner. And you need to, to look at them. You need to face up to these painful issues. Don't just try to sweep them under the carpet. As this month draws to a close, I do feel that your feelings could be quite raw and it is going to be important to avoid people who can get on your nerves and bring your morale down at the best of times. And if need be, talk to someone in a confidential way that you can trust to get the support and encouragement that I do feel is going to be important in the last phase of this month. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.